Hi everyone, this is John from MotionWorks. Welcome back to After Effects Effects A to Z. In this quick tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at the Bezier Warp Effect. So what I'm going to do first is apply a solid to this comp and apply the effect from the Distort menu choosing Bezier Warp right here at the top. It's a very simple effect, but it's very handy. You can adjust different vertices and tangents by using the effect controls panel and dragging the numeric values. But a better way to work is literally to drag the handles in the comp. You can see how I can distort this solid. And this is of course a 2D distortion. So, cool. I mean, that's not very exciting, is it? It doesn't look very good. This is kind of a utility effect. I'll show an example of how I used it the other day. Here's a ribbon that's been pre-rendered. It's actually a proxy. It's quite RAM intensive using echo and a bunch of other effects and it definitely slowed down my workflow not having it rendered as a proxy. But the problem is it's actually coming too close to the client's logo and needs to be adjusted slightly. So rather than going back to the original and adjusting it and then re-rendering, Bezier Warp is perfect for this. So I've got the layer selected. If I choose Effect Bezier Warp, and you can see it's applied here. It's at an angle because that layer has been rotated just slightly. But check this out. I can use the handles with the effect selected to pull this around and adjust it. Bring that down and across and it's fixed. It's a really great way to use Bezier Warp to fine tune things and save yourselves a little bit of time. Not the most exciting thing in the world but definitely very handy. There's a couple of other examples on the internet. Definitely go to the After Effects help. You'll find a little bit of information there. It's a very simple effect. There's not much written there. Some effects include the Video Copilot tutorial number 23 from 2007, how Andrew Kramer bends this fractal noise, which looks pretty nice. And another effect which uh, bends light on Creative Cow by Bill O'Neill. And I remember seeing this effect years and years ago. You can see it's from 2002. But it still has a pretty good look. You can see how Bill has created this light and he's wrapping it around things using Bezier Warp. So, still has its place. Okay, so that's Bezier Warp. Hopefully that's been a discovery for you. I'll look forward to seeing you in the next installment of After Effects Effects A to Z. But for now, this is John Dickinson from Motionworks. Have fun, be creative, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.